Is there like a triangle of predator dots on my forehead or what's... You look like you want to talk about Lord of the Rings. What about me right now sitting here doing work tells you that I want to talk about that? You're wearing a shirt. You're going to wear shirts. Pretty sure he doesn't. Like, at least according to all the fan art I'm familiar with. You ever notice how this movies are all about religion? Yes, I do know that Tolkien and C.S. Lewis were devout Christians who put thinly veiled Christian themes in all of their works. Speaking of, I would love to get back to that thing. Work? What work? You're sitting over there drawing penises on hot dogs. I didn't think you could see that from there. Anyway, I'm not just rehashing. I'm talking about how Lord of the Rings deliberately and willfully takes a big old hobbit poop on every major religion except Christianity. Oh, you know hobbit poop is so stinky. It's like hair. And every race in Lord of the Rings represents one of the major religions in the world, right? First you got the hobbits there, clearly pagan earth worshippers there. Barefoot, they live in minimalist housing, they smoke weed every day. The finest weed in the South Valley. How is that an attack on that religion, though? I mean, the Shire is basically a utopia. I'm pretty sure Tolkien would love to live in one of those igloos and smoke weed every day, the thing that you said. Sure, but the movies constantly remind us the importance of having a strong will. And the hobbits, as nice as they are, they just don't really have that. The only reason Frodo is able to get all the way to Mordor with the ring is because Sam is there to pick up his slack. And neither of them would have left the Shire in the first place if Gandalf hadn't have made them. And if there is a war, it's kind of understood that the Hobbiton would be annihilated. I mean, they're a naive, innocent people whose beliefs are nice and all, but they're not the chosen people. Frodo gets to go to heaven in the end, but that's the exception to the rule. Through good works, he regains his divinity. This is starting to sound a lot like church. And speaking of the chosen people, what about the dwarves? The band? No, not the... Why would I suddenly be talk... No. The dwarves in Lord of the Rings, they're like anti-Semitic caricature of the Jewish people. They're short, hairy, gold-loving, giant noses with legs who were chased out of their sacred homeland because their avarice made them dig too deep. They're like little Nazi flashcards, at least the ones that managed to survive the mass extermination of dwarves that happened. Sound familiar? You're grasping a little bit. Oh, am I? A little bit. Did you know that the dwarvish language that Tolkien made up is based on an ancient Jewish tongue? It's a direct quote from Tolkien. I do think of the dwarves like Jews. End of quote. Full context. Okay. I concede you have some sort of point there, but like, what about Muslims and Hindus? Two of the biggest religions on the planet, and I don't recall seeing- The Easterlings. Eh, that's a made up word, you made mm, that word the up. The Easterlings, they're dark skinned, they ride the giant elephants, they look like evil dervishes. Oh yeah. They're like racist police sketch of anyone living in the Middle East or India. They're technologically advanced, but they're in cahoots with the wrong god, so they can't be trusted. Okay, but no, like, racist white Christian thinks that Muslims have all the technology. The stereotypical evil Muslim has like a long beard and lives in a cave. Maybe it's dwarves again. Tolkien was a student of medieval history and literature. And if Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves taught me anything, it did. it's the Muslims during the Crusades had things like math and telescopes that just confounded all the white people. How did your uneducated kind ever take Jerusalem? Tolkien's version of Muslims have a bunch of really awesome shit, but their souls are still corrupted. Who are the Christians then? Humans? No. Wrong. The humans are atheists or agnostics. Basically, all the people have stopped going to church. Because when they show up, that's when all the magic in Middle-earth starts to disappear because all the world of man cares about is building kingdoms or industry or things you can touch with your, with your hand. But they lost their spirituality. That's why the elves jump on their boats and bounce the fuck out of there. Jimmy Rowland. The elves, the Christians. Exactly, yeah. Divine, perfect beings who only fight when it's absolutely necessary. And at the end of the movies, when all the other religions of Middle-earth have to go back and scoop up giant mounds of elephant poop or trim the beards of giant wooden tree people, the elves get to move on to paradise because they were right all along. Also, Ganoff is straight up an angel sent down from heaven. Read the Silmarillion. Or, no. or, the elves are like Buddhists or Shintoists because they're a super exclusive group of warriors who only fight when they have to and they live in a monastery. There are a lot of waterfalls. Seems vaguely Buddhist. All the elves' armor and weaponry looks vaguely Japanese and when they vanquish the ultimate evil, they all get to move on to Nirvana. The band? No, not the band. But why would Tolkien, a self-described turbo Christian- There's no way he said that. Write a story glorifying Eastern religions. Oh, no, 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 no. They're, they're, they're not Christians at all, the elves are a super exclusive group of beautiful, wealthy white people who live in a giant temple mansion and follow a leader named Elrond. Elrond is not their leader. He's like upper management. And at the end of the movie, they follow Elrond to space. What do you know, you person with things 
ridiculous things coming out of its face. I spent the past 12 goddamn hours watching Lord of the Rings. I am the authority here. Oh, 12 hours, man. Are you okay? Yeah, I mean, sure. There's some eye strain and mild light sensitivity. So you're saying the light hurts us? No, shut up. Like it hurts the pressure. Stop it! Go ahead. Go ahead. I broke you, it's weird. Hey, the YouTube, thanks for watching. Yeah, we did a video about Lord of the Rings, and it was, it was great. Great, it was and super you fun. loved it. Make yeah. sure to click like and the subscribe button, and all the buttons that you possibly could. Any of the buttons. Except that one. All, yeah, don't do that one, because that, that's hurtful. And be sure to leave a comment. Uh, what do we forget? What other religions are there that exist? Right. What other animals could have been other things? What are the dragons? What are the dragons? What were the eagles? Say about. No, not the band. Why would I send The horses. What about the Gandalf? What about the Beatles? What about the Beatles? What? Were there Beatles? About. What about that cave troll? The cave trolls. He was sitting in the dark all by himself and then suddenly he hears Sean Bean scuttling around upstairs. He's like, I'm gonna go check this out. Who was he? Leave your college reading in the comments below.